Could you tell us what's happening here? Fill us in on what the situation is. This is the 25th Infantry Division. Dan Rather, CBS News, on the beach near Tom Key. I'm not sure I know the answer to that because uh, the definition of post-traumatic stress, what used to be called syndrome, is now called post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, has evolved over years since Vietnam. I think the answer to the question is no. When I first came back from Vietnam, did I have nightmares? Of course I had nightmares. Uh, you couldn't see what most journalists who went to Vietnam saw uh, and not have nightmares about it. Did I get depressed in thinking about it? Depends on the definition of depressed. I certainly got low about it. Uh, and this stretched on for quite a little while after I came back from, from Vietnam, that images would sometimes come up in my head, uncalled for, unwanted. Um, I've described it before, and I think it's about as good as I can do, that there's a whole library of videotape in my head, and there was about Vietnam. And so from time to time, in sort of jukebox fashion, one of those would slide down, start playing in the back roads of my mind and working in the first of my mind, things such as you're in a helicopter landing zone, there's a lot of fighting going on around you, confusion reigns, which is frequently the case in war, and suddenly the helicopter pilot with whom you've just been talking to is shot dead between the eyes, right in front of you, a distance of maybe four feet. Or you're walking along on a, on a patrol and uh, there's a high sense of danger and tenseness, but there's nothing you can see or hear, and suddenly there's a muffled broom, and the soldier in front of you is a kid from Tennessee who's 19 years old, has lost his legs. Uh, that, and these are just two examples among many. You see those things, and they do embed somewhere deep within you. So then when you come back, you finally come back out of Vietnam, and I'm talking now principally about my first time there, which lasted the better part of a year. I was back some other times for shorter periods. So I don't think I had post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, but I did have some difficulty with myself uh, reconciling being back in the States, being with my wife and children, and going about my daily work, and still having these echoes uh, of, of that hell that was Vietnam.